Driving for Uber Eats and other delivery apps has become one of the most common side gigs for those looking to supplement their income. But for some drivers, the experience can be unfavorable. A Texas Uber Eats driver went viral after claiming that he made just 37 cents for four hours of work. The driver, who has withheld his name citing privacy concerns, told Insider he made $30.97 in eight deliveries, but then had to fill up his tank, which cost him $30.60. The driver's account went viral on the Reddit page AntiWork, where people post about suffering in their workplace. The Uber Eats driver's post racked up almost 20,000 upvotes. He said that only three out of the eight customers he had forked over a tip. He quit driving for Uber after only a few shifts, saying it's not worth it. He wrote in his Reddit post, I hope maybe some other people can save their time and money not falling for Uber Eats. Accounting for my car's depreciation, it cost me money to drive for Uber Eats. Uber said this driver's experience is not common. But for workers that deliver for apps like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub, the cost of doing business is eating into their take-home pay. These workers are expected to pay for their own vehicle and gas, which has become more challenging as the price of gas has gone up. An Uber Eats driver earnings may vary greatly. It's a wide range because pay depends on when they are delivering. Busier times net higher pay, like evenings, holidays, and major sporting events. The drivers get paid for each completed delivery. Order requests show an estimated payout along the restaurant and the customer's location. The payout for each delivery is based on base fare, trip supplement, promotions, and tips. Uber does not share exactly how base fare is calculated, but the upfront information will typically give drivers enough information to let them know if the order is worth it. The order request screen may say includes expected tip beneath the estimated payout. That means that the estimate the driver sees includes some or all of the tip that the customer left during checkout. If a customer doesn't tip in the app, the estimated payout will be low and the driver will know that the order might not be worth taking. There is one big issue, however. It's possible for customers to change their tip after the order is complete. It's called tip baiting. The final payout won't match the expected payout the driver saw on the request screen if the customer chooses to change the tip. The tipping system when it comes to delivery drivers is a recurring hot topic. With the majority of delivery drivers' salaries being made up by tips, they prioritize those orders that will pay out higher tips. Viral videos often depict food orders without tips waiting to be collected at restaurants for long periods of time while those with tips get collected rapidly. It's worth noting that Uber Eats changed their pay formula in the spring of 2020 when they added the TRIPS supplement. The supplement lowers base pay overall, but it's meant to supplement for deliveries that might not pay as well. This earnings component takes into account any factors, such as total time and distance, including the time a driver spends traveling to the restaurant. Uber says Trip Supplement helps to make every delivery worthwhile and will appear on the Trip Receipt when available. Uber Eats driver reviews are mixed on how it affects drivers. Some drivers have seen lower fares since it rolled out, and others are making more. We have seen companies like DoorDash, Amazon, and Instacart hire more contractors to support spikes in demand for deliveries. The expansion of the gig economy is definitely here to stay. And there has been growing pressure globally as governments around the world consider policies that protect gig workers. As the food delivery industry expands rapidly, there has been an increasing number of complaints from drivers around the world, prompting government officials to call for better health and safety standards and perks for gig workers that are traditionally only offered to employees. For platform companies, the well-being of their delivery partners and merchants across the marketplace is paramount. Critics and employment rights advocates have slammed these gig apps for taking advantage of labor rights by having people work for them but not taking on all the responsibilities of a traditional employer. Delivery driver roles are marketed by companies as a side hustle that can fit around their lifestyle. But people in these roles are under pressure to hit targets to earn a significant wage 
but sometimes hitting those incentives requires drivers to work long hours that ultimately inhibit the freedom promised to them. Digital platforms have also used incentives and penalties to manage driver behavior, nudging them towards certain modes of operation and further limiting the freedom they have. Some companies have even invested large sums of money on self-driving cars and robots to replace drivers. The Uber self-driving cars have had several setbacks, causing them to be pulled from the roads. The technology was tested and put on the roads despite numerous warnings and even an accusation of intellectual property theft. The company was sued by Waymo for allegedly stealing the Google Offshoot's trade secrets. The companies eventually settled. But Uber's former star engineer and ex-Googler Anthony Lewandowski was sentenced to 18 months in jail for the crime. Fully autonomous vehicles are not consumer ready yet, but they could one day be, and the lost jobs will be in the millions. The ability to replace a human fleet with fully autonomous vehicles that never sleep, never get tired, never get hungry, never get sick never get a traffic violation, and rarely if ever get into an accident, is far too enticing to be overlooked. There are two primary forces that will bring about the adoption of advanced crash avoidance systems and fully autonomous vehicles, safety and money. There will be fewer insurance claims, fewer lawsuits. Fully autonomous vehicles will certainly disrupt our economy, but the entire idea is still abstract. It could be right around the corner but it might also be a decade or more away.